We've seen all sorts of different ways to draw inside Flash. We've seen the pencil tool, the line tool, the brush tool, and in the previous exercise, we saw how to work with the eraser tool. I now wanna show you how to work with Flash's pen tool, which is, I will admit, the most complex of the Flash drawing tools, but it's also the most powerful once you kinda of get the hang of it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get rid of our, our cartoon pumpkin head here. We don't need this guy anymore, so you can go ahead and close out of this file, and when Flash prompts you, don't bother saving this guy unless you wanna save your, your changes. Now, I wanna take my time with the pen tool because he can do so much and because he's a little bit more complex to work with. I wanna get you warmed up to the idea of the pen tool inside this exercise. And then in the, in the upcoming lessons, we'll go into further detail with this guy. So what I'll have you do is go ahead and look for the pen tool over inside the toolbox. If you want, you can just tap the P key on your keyboard. That would be just fine. Now, as soon as I grab this guy, once again, the properties panel over on the right-hand side springs to life. And what we see inside the properties panel is basically the same settings that we saw earlier for the line tool and for the pencil tool. So really nothing new to show you here, but at this stage of the game, you might wanna come in here and make some changes. Maybe you wanna change your stroke color, your line color. Maybe you wanna increase the thickness of your line, the style of your line, and so on. But that's not really what I'm focused on here. I would really much rather focus on working with the pen tool. So it's inside our blank file that I wanna demonstrate this guy for you. So how does this guy work? Well, let's take this nice and slow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by single clicking somewhere on the stage, okay? And I get a tiny donut. Now, what that little donut represents or, or what that guy is, is he's referred to as an anchor point, okay? And every time our line changes direction, we're gonna get a new anchor point. You might wanna jot that down, okay? So anytime the line changes direction, we're gonna get a new anchor point. So single clicking creates the first one. I'm gonna go and create a second anchor point by simply moving my mouse somewhere else on the flash stage and single clicking once again. Now, a bunch of things happen here. First of all, we get a line, miraculously. Isn't that great? We now have a second anchor point down on the end of the line, okay? So anchor points appear at the beginning and at the end, again, whenever the line changes direction. Between the anchor points, we get what's referred to as a path. Now, if you've ever worked with Adobe Illustrator, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the same idea, okay? Now, the settings over inside the properties panel that you went and set get applied to the path as well, okay? That's how it works. Now, what we can do is we can continue single clicking to create some kind of an object. Maybe it's some kind of an arrow or some kind of a, you know, a weird polygon that we wanna create or, you know, something like this all the way around. And then to finish our line or to finish our object, we have a couple of different methods, a couple of different choices. What I could do is I could just double click with the tool and that will finish this first object, okay? And then what I could do, for instance, is I could, move my mouse somewhere else, and then begin single clicking once again to create a second object, something like that. Again, double clicking to finish that guy off, okay? Now, at this point, it might not seem too exciting, but let me show you a couple of neat things. I'm gonna hit Controller Command A to select everything on the stage, and I'm gonna hit Delete, or of course, we could double click on the eraser tool as we saw earlier. And then here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna create some kind of a, some kind of a wacky polygon shape, right? So I'm gonna just start single clicking on the stage to create this object, maybe, you know, something like this. But then this time, what I wanna do is I wanna create a closed shape as opposed to an open line, if that makes sense. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my cursor back over the starting point. And when I do that, notice the tiny little donut that appears beside my pen nib, beside my cursor indicating that if I single click, I create a closed object. Go ahead and single click. And now we have a closed shape that we could apply a fill to or that we could manipulate in some other manner. Now this donut is not showing up on my screen right now during the recording, but it is definitely on screen. You'll definitely see it on your screen when you hover your pen nib over top of an anchor point. So I hope that works for you. I hope that's making sense. 
I want to show you something else too. And again, this exercise is all about just getting warmed up to the to working with the pen tool. So once again, I'm going to hit Control or Command A, and I'll hit Delete on my keyboard. And this time, rather than just single clicking to create straight lines as we've been doing here, what I'm going to do instead is I'm now going to click and drag with the pen tool. And this is where things get bizarre. When I start clicking and dragging, now what I get are curved lines as opposed to straight lines, okay? So maybe something like this, some kind of a weird blobby shape, right? Now this is really where the power of the pen tool lies. So now what I'm getting, let me just rewind here for a second because I did that kind of fast. I'm gonna once again select everything and toast it and I'll start again here for you. Now what happens when I click and drag is I get my anchor point at the beginning there, you can see them there, but now I get this weird kind of teeter-totter thing happening. These guys are called direction lines and they control the arc on the curve, okay? Now we'll get into manipulating these guys and understanding how they function and you know making use of them and all this kind of stuff, but at this point, maybe I want to create some kind of a, again, a weird sort of oddball shape, you know, something like this. And again, same story, I could double click to finish the line or bring my cursor back over the starting point and then click and drag once more to create a closed blobby shape. That's the technical term, by the way, <laughs> in case you were interested. So there you go. That's the extreme basics as far as the pen tool is concerned. I would really encourage you to spend a few minutes at this point, just kind of clicking around, clicking and dragging, getting comfortable with this guy. And then what we'll do in the next few exercises is we'll get more and more comfortable creating both straight line segments and curved line segments.